I'm wearing this Michael Jackson shirt. Well, because my, I, Michael Jackson, I beat his Guinness Book of World Records when I was 10 years old for being the youngest male solo artist to have four consecutive uh, singles in the top 10 Billboard charts. Wow. Michael Jackson then reached out to my mom and said, hey, I want to give your son the title of Prince of Pop. You can use that. My mom wrote a book called Prince of Pop, and then I did a, a song with Michael Jackson. He picked a handful of people, Luther Vandross, Celine Dion, Beyonce, uh, Justin Timberlake, and me. <clears throat> and we did a song called What More Can I Give? And then I opened up with him in Madison Square Garden on September 9th and September 10th of 2001. And then we all left the morning of September, September 11th, and I saw the plane hit the building. Like you're in a plane no, flying? No, no, I was in a limousine. I was, I was supposed to go on tour, and Michael invited us to go to an amusement park after the show. So I was in a limousine going to a private airport, and I was across the Hudson, and I was just standing there like thinking, oh, I remember this from like Home Alone, you know, and I was just thinking, you know, whatever. And, and then all of a sudden, I see the plane hit, and about four seconds later, I hear it. And it was just, it was crazy. And then so I, I, I saw Michael at the concert, and I go, hey, I'm going to get that jacket from you. He had that sparkly jacket on. The red one? Or no, the no, the one that's made out of all Swarovski crystal that's worth like $35 million. Now, um, there's only that's two. That's the right one to ask for. Uh, and I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm going to get, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get that fucking thing from you. And he kind of giggled it off a little bit. Then I went to his birthday party and, you know, his 47th birthday party. And I, I literally just grabbed the cake and I smashed it in his face. I didn't care. I was like, I'm going to treat you like a human being. You know what I mean? Did you get the, the jacket? Later that night, <clears throat> me, my brother, Rodney Jerkins, Michael, and Raffle, the executor of his estates, and we're all sitting down in his living room. And Raffle leans over Michael and goes, hey, don't you have something for Aaron? He comes out, gives me the jacket. Nick gets so pissed off, he gets up immediately and leaves. Wow. Damn, so, wait, this is because now on 9 11, you, you were on no, your way, oh, no, you're on your way to the this airport. This after, is after 9 11, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was just a, a matter of like three or four different incidents or, 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 yeah. where, where we were right. together doing I things. see, I see. Um, what was your take on uh, on, on like all the, the Michael Jackson documentary? Leaving that, Neverland, yeah, yeah, that was that the bullshit. one, bullshit, man. Wade Robson, bro, come on, dude. I like, mean, I'm sorry, but I was there, I spent plenty of nights with Michael. I didn't see anything remotely close to that. But you, I saw you, nothing but respect and gen, and 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 generosity. What you want like you to... want an exclusive? Sure. When I left Neverland, I came back because uh, we used to live next door to Michael hmm. in San Ynez. We had a ranch out there, but not at this time. <clears throat> I leave, get in the limo after his birthday party, ride his dirt bike around. <clears throat> I smoked weed with Michael. Um, wow. Did, did he smoke a lot of weed? Is there footage I don't know of if Michael he Jackson a lot of weed, smoking weed? weed? Yeah. I've never yeah, heard yeah. of Michael smoking weed, actually. That's cool. Michael Jackson smoked That's weed, and I smoked weed with him. <laughs> nice. so, That's a good one. So, and then, so <laughs> I get, but here's the craziest part about all this I get back to the Universal Sheraton, right? And my parents had four FBI agents and detectives there to talk to me. And they're like, Did Michael do anything? And I'm like, the fuck are you guys talking? Why what what year was this? Yeah, how long ago was that? I mean, uh, I don't even remember. He was still alive. It, right? Jojo, right? No, he he remembers. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably still alive. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. Let's he, just he, assume. He, he, he was, let's just he, assume. He was struggling. <laughs> YouTube. No, no, he was alive. But to be honest with you, no, no. But to be real, he was struggling, and we all know that. Sure. We, it's 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 not. You know, sure. new. It, it's not new news. Well, how old are you at that time? Um, like thirteen or like eighteen? Uh, I was 16, 15, sixteen. Fifteen. And you went. You slept over at his place. Yeah, like you were his place, place multiple times. Yeah. 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 Are there other kids there at the time? Mm -mm. So it's just you. You just hanging all day, stay the night. Yeah, I mean, I think it got to a point where, because I literally, you know, I'm pretty candid. I'll ask anybody anything. I don't give a shit, man. Sure. Like whatever. I, I literally asked my sister, what's up with all this like little kid stuff going on with you? You know, like, why do they do that to you? He's like, he's like, I don't know, but I, all I try to do is, is reinstill myself into new generations so that I keep myself current. And I also never really had a childhood. So these, when I hang out with these kids, they, 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 they give me a feeling of like, you know, fulfilling a void in my heart he told me and i was like 
well, then why don't you keep doing it? He's like, because they won't stop prosecuting me. Mm. They won't stop. All these mothers, and that's what I'm trying to tell you, is when I left, my parents had FBI agents and detectives there to try to sue Michael. And I said, no, 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 no. Get the hell out of here, all of these fucking guys. Mm. And, and then they left. And then my parents were all pissed off because they wanted to do it on purpose. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sure, they wanted I, I, to. I don't find that too. Like your parents were <laughs> interested in suing so, Michael. So they wanted to sue him. They wanted to sue him because they, they wanted to make up a lie because of what was going on with all the and, prosecutions. And they thought that there would be like a, 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 a money grab. Money. Yeah, yeah. So, it's a money grab. What do you do with Michael when you're just kicking it with them? Are you guys like smoking a joint? Yeah, no, like what's no, his stoner we talk? We went. Me, me, Michael, and Chris Tucker went riding around on four wheelers in the mountains for like three or four hours. Um... You know, Michael jumped into the uh, his alligator pit and started swinging around his alligator tail in the middle of the day. Like, he was just a goofy, fun guy, man. You know, and if you treated him like a person and you didn't have, you know, uh, you're not, like, starstruck or whatever. And mm-hmm. people are people, man. Like, I've, I've met everybody, you know. Like, I've had Elton John come to multiple concerts of mine, and I didn't even know at that time, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I've... I've my dad was best friends with Bruce Willis. Like, you know, like he would come over all the time. I, I went to rumors. Bruce brought me in to do rumors. Six, sweet 16, you know, um, it's just, I just, I've, I've met so many people that in along the way, you know, that it's just, you know, it is what it, I mean, I, I, I dated Mel B from spice girls for, you know, the few wow. nights. Oh, I never knew that. And we used to tour together when I was nine and she was 20. <laughs> my, my girl loves the spice girls. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Thanks for watching that clip. And if you live in America, there's a good chance that this big badass tour bus is coming to your town with my bucket list tour. What is it? Well, it's an X-rated show full of all the stuff that I would have never been allowed to do for Jackass. And a lot of it is flagrantly illegal. So, it's adults only. And if you live in any of these states, then you better go to stevo.com and check out my tour schedule. Hurry up and get your tickets too, because it's selling out everywhere. Yeah, dude. Uh. Woo! Yeah, dude.